Hello everybody, welcome on back to another uh, diecast video. Today we are actually not doing a review, but more of a, um, a ranking of my favorite Kansas race win diecast in honor of the fact that I am not doing a stream this weekend. Uh, so, therefore, I'm going to show you all my Kansas race win diecast. So, uh, we're going to start with a couple of honorable mentions, four of them to be exact, and these are the non-Cup Series versions that have been produced. So, uh, I say produced, I've had either a custom done or they were made. I do have a few others that are sort of sitting in place right now. Uh, I got a Zane Smith, a Kyle Busch, and um, I think another truck but basically it's not the kansas race version it's a race version from an earlier race but the paint scheme's the same so i kind of got that so i didn't bring those but let's start with my uh i guess my my lowest graded of the xfinity cars at the moment and that is the 2019 brandon jones his uh, first career win i believe uh, if not his first career win it was definitely yeah it was his first career win first career win uh <laughs> confetti cannon 100% uh it was kind of a wacky race uh really this race came down to just him surviving I mean honestly that's a lot of Brandon Jones wins he didn't ever really dominate races he was just very good at essentially snagging wins when everyone else would fall out of the way um because that's what happened here uh Custer Bell let's see it was Custer Reddick Bell Briscoe and Gregson five cars he was running sixth five cars all had problems two cars crashed into each other in with a lap car Garrett Smithley then two other cars got together on the restart and then Noah Gregson went into the corner with a flat tire and he just I mean literally six to first like crazy anyway uh but yeah it's a pretty cool die cast I love the confetti um kind of a neat paint scheme and then of course uh the right side's got a nice good scrape to it um but that being said uh you know it's an okay paint scheme but um you know the race was kind of half memorable was a little bit a little bit chaotic chaotic for my taste um so that's what ranks this one on a little bit lower uh the next one i'm going to show you guys is the 20 20 or er, what year is it 2019 is this, this is 2019 yeah this is the 2019 ross chastain first career truck series win this is actually a really cool truck you can see just how dirty it is on the front tons of confetti look at that blue and white confetti all over the place you can see there where the water was overheating and left a nice mark but then look at all the build up Oh, I love it. Such a dirty race truck in terms of just rubber buildup all over the truck. Um, so, yeah, very cool truck there. I'd love to get that one autographed at some point. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of just we'll see when that when that day comes. But, yes, definitely a very cool truck. Uh, pretty memorable race. Came down to a green-white checker, which I'm never really a huge fan of. Um, there was late race contact with a few different trucks and stuff. But still a pretty fun overall memorable race. Um the next one on the list is going to be the twenty ninth or the twenty twenty fall race or twenty twenty one fall race. Sorry, twenty twenty one fall race. Ty Gibbs when he won in the fifty four. Now this was before he was running for the championship, so you'll notice the Xfinity banner on the front, um, and you'll actually also notice the part that makes the Kansas one unique is the nose detail or damage. So you can see there's a little bit of damage on the nose that they did patch up. Um, this is a full blown custom. It looks incredible. I am thrilled with the way this turned out. It looks fantastic look at all the winner stickers on the side from the 54 yeah i know everyone thought ty gibbs was incredible but let's be real here when a truck when a car is this good there's a good chance that anyone that hops in it should be winning races and he did what he should do which was win races so uh but yes a very very cool car um i mean just the way it turned out overall with the way you know monster energy not allowing anything to get made um this is a really nice looking custom all right, so the last one I'm going to show off is going to be probably my pride and joy of the Kansas race versions. This is actually a custom Noah Gregson 2018 uh, night race win from the truck series. This was back when the race took place on a Saturday and Friday night. So the Friday night we got down there, you can see we have confetti all around the, the front of the truck. It is an autographed truck and then you see the custom camping world banner uh for that um, we also do have shredded tires here so you can see the rear is kind of flat spotted out and uh kind of a little bit shredded uh, my sister and i both have matching customs of this truck so I, I went out and got a pair of them and got them all customized so we me and her both have a customized noah gregson kansas truck um it's a very very cool custom and um I'm pretty thrilled with it. So you'll see it on the website. It's not for sale, but I always like to show things off by uh, putting them on, on the website. So, uh, but yes, this is my favorite of the non cup series wins. Now then let's go ahead and move on to the actual raced versions from the Kansas speedway. And we're going to start on the low end, my, kind of my least favorite race wins first. Okay. I'm sure most people will be able to figure this one out because honestly, it was an absolutely dreadful race and should be embarrassed to have ever existed in at all. Tiny little itty-bitty pin, 
which is not thrilling, but the biggest thing is this race was the uh, first time that Kansas was in the round of eight, and it disappointed massively. Joey Logano. Um, now, I've seen Joey win a lot of times, but this is probably the most frustrating because Kevin Harvick was coming. Um, he was the faster car and just got arrow blocked for literally, I kid you not, 30 freaking laps. It was cold. It was freaking windy. And then on top of that, we had to watch cars run on a single file train because the arrow block was such an, a powerful move. Um, I will say though, this race was probably the absolute death of the 550 package. Um, in some ways, uh, where they decided to kind of make some changes to it to try and help it. Uh, but that being said, Awful, awful race. Just, man, I tell you, after five laps of the restart, no one could pass. Everyone was in a single file train around the track, and, oh, it was awful. I remember how bad that race was. So, um, love it from my, ha from my home track standpoint, but, man, it was a bad race. And then, teeny tiny bin. All right. Next one on the list is going to be... Actually, only uh, the next, the very next race that took place at this racetrack. This is the 2021 Kyle Busch, Bushy McBush race. <laughs> that was the race. So here you can see it. The Bushy McBush race uh, at Kansas Speedway. Um, so yeah, kind of funny how they had that. But yes, that was the sponsor of the race. And I... What do you know? A Bush brother won it. Uh, so yeah, Kyle Bush won it in this car. I don't, uh, I don't have a problem with the car. I actually think the car is a kind of a cool looking race win, but that being said, there's no confetti on it. Not a huge amount of race detail. And overall, this race really did come down to, um, just utter chaos at the end. And, um, I don't know. I'm not a fan of races because Kyle Larson dominated the race, ran up front. And then at the end, he Blaney and like three other top 10 cars all got like shuffled to the very back and i don't know i'm just not a fan of races that i watch unfold throughout the day and at the last minute snap of your fingers the whole field flips upside down i just ah, not not my thing you know so that was that's what ranks this one so low nothing really against kyle i thought the race him you know i was kind of cheering when he won and everything but um you know there's there's other i think races i would like more um okay next um next race on the list race uh, on the list now i gotta say this very specifically because the die cast i actually really like but the race itself was a little bit dull this is the 2016 let me grab the thing here 2016 hollywood casino 400 you see there's the pin yeah it's a pretty good pin and then um this one i actually got autographed at the 2018 um kansas spring race uh kevin harvick had won the poll it was coming out of the media center and i got it signed very nice signature from kevin um but, yes, so this car um, was the playoff win from 2016. It was just a little bit of a slow or more dull race. It wasn't a bad race by any stretch, but it didn't have as much of the memorable action, um, the stuff that I really remember. I actually had forgotten who had won this race until I got the die cast, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember now. But um, if that tells you how memorable the finish and everything was, it was, it was kind of a long, drawn-out finish, and um, so obviously... Again, diecast wise, I would put this one a little higher than maybe some of my others uh, from Kansas. But as far as the race and the memory, the memory I have of it, um, this one definitely comes in um, here at the semi bottom. All right, uh, the next race on this list is going to be uh, the 2019 uh, Hollywood Casino 400. Here you can see it is a custom Denny Hamlin because they did not make any Denny Hamlin wins after Daytona from 2019. Uh, let me show you the uh, pin here. There we go. So there's the Hollywood Casino pin right there. Hollywood Casino 400. Uh, and then we have, obviously, it's a custom, so it has all the confetti marked around there. Uh, you can see we've got a custom playoff banner, playoff spoiler, playoff splitter, um, all that here. You can see we do have a little bit of build up there on the right front of the nose and uh, stuff like that. But overall, it was a pretty good race. Uh, it was actually pretty entertaining towards the end. Uh, Chase was very close to making it or missing it. And um, very, very late in the race, it came down to a restart where Chase came flying forward, came all the way to second, was looking for the lead. And um, another caution came out and it ended up wiping out, I believe, Brad Keselowski. And um, that knocked Brad out of the round of eight and moved Chase in. Um, to the round of eight. So, uh, a little bit more memorable. I do remember this race. I remember being very edge of my seat in the stands because I obviously had uh, Chase Elliott, my guy, you know, on the, on the bubble. Um, and I believe this was the last year that it was on the bubble because the next year it moved to the round of eight. And so, yeah, kind of an interesting, uh, change of date, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that one comes in at the number, let's see, five, no, four, six, sorry, number six position. I, I can't count. I think it's actually number seven. 
Okay, um, the next one on this list is actually going to be kind of an interesting race. This is the 2021 Hollywood Casino 400 won by Kyle Larson. Here's the giant pin. Love when they went back to the big old pins. Um, but yes, this car itself is a pretty good-looking car. Love the banner. Love the spoiler. A um, little bit of trash on the grill and stuff, but it's a very basic car. Not a ton of confetti. You can see a couple pieces here or there, but it's, it's pretty clean. Um, do get a little bit of a wall scrape there because Kansas is notorious for that. Um, so overall, the race was fairly simple and straightforward. Kyle Larson was one of the best cars all day, but late in the race, it was between Chase Elliott and Kevin Harvick. Harvick split him three wide and gave Larson the lead, and he never relinquished it after that. So a little bummed out my guy couldn't win, but I do remember this race um, and watching the lips la lap. lap Clap, uh, click by here, uh, you know, towards the end of the race and just knowing, okay, he ain't going to get there. Let's just make, you know, get the good finish. And um, so also it was a round of eight race. So, you know, the winner going to the championship four was kind of a, a new draw. So uh, that one definitely had a little, a uh, little more weight to it than, uh, you know, in seasons past, but it was a cold race. They kept, they, they moved this up to the round of 16 for a good reason. It was cold every time. All right. So coming in at the number five spot, um, I'm actually going to put last year's race. This one is the 2022, um, there we go, the Advent Health 400. There's the pin there, big pin. By the way, if you want this pin, it is available on the website. Anyway, uh, so yes, everyone remembers this car. This was probably the most highly anticipated car to be released of 2022. And you can see the number 45. You can see tons of sand and dirt and grit all around the nose of the car here. We got the Jordan brand. Obviously, we got uh, the, the first win for Kurt or with 2311. And unfortunately, probably his final career win. Um, unless we do get a chance to see him race again. But a uh, very dirty car kind of just in terms of the sand and the grit that came around it. Um, the Jordan is such an iconic brand. So we have the Jumpman logo. And then just the Jordan brand of a car is, is pretty dang cool. Uh, you can see how dirty the nose is. And just overall, a really, really cool car. A really high demand car. A lot of people really wanted this car. And so I was, I was really glad I was able to get to see it win. That being said, the race no, it was really memorable. The race between Larson and Bush down to the end was very fun. Um, good battles. I mean, I can't remember a bad, a super bad race uh, other than this Logano over here. That was a bad race. Um, but most of the Kansas races are are, are either um, perfectly acceptable to really, really good, uh, you know, considering it is a mile and a half. So, uh, yeah, so this one goes in at the number uh, five spot. Yeah, let me. I had to make sure it was five. Okay. So coming in at the number four spot, I'm actually going to put, as, as weird as it sounds, this is the 2015 uh, Hollywood Casino 400. Now, this one had some very memorable races, obviously iconic moments. The, you know, here we go, the Logano dumping Kenseth moment. I was actually sitting in turn one, and I can remember that very vividly. Um, I remember you know, kind of sitting in the stands and seeing him go around and going, whoa, he just spun him like, you know, and, um, I remember Casey Kane was running fourth due to that spin and had a shot on the final restart. And I thought, no, my, no worry. You know, as bad as he's run in 2015, he has a shot if he pulls high to, uh, go three wide on the restart and, and, you know, basically give Joey a run for the win, uh, which I thought was going to be really cool. He didn't end up getting there. He did get his top five, I believe, but, um, I would have been really cool to see him win. Um, that being said, it wasn't made, so I did have a custom done, or I found a custom. I didn't choose to have it made. I actually just found this one, uh, but it's a really cool custom shredded tire. Obviously, the right side was all scraped up, and then, of course, this did lead to the Martinsville incident that is oh so famous today. Uh, but overall, it was a very, very cool car I really like. All right, so coming into the number three spot, this is actually going to be kind of an interesting one. This is Brad Keselowski's Worth um, win from the Kansas Speedway. Big time confetti cannon here. We do also have shredded tires, and this was in the Digital Ally 400. There's where the pin looked like from that race. I try to get one from every race. As I said, the only one that I don't is actually coming up next on the list, and I'll explain which one it is. Um, but yeah, overall, really good paint scheme. The confetti literally matches the paint scheme. This race was fantastic. This was the first debut of the 550 package, and it took place at the night race. And I'm telling you, a multi-groove Kansas with the 550 at night, um, early on, really put on a good race. I mean, there was just good action all around the racetrack, and it wasn't just on restarts. It was consistently good action. So, um unfortunately, the 550 didn't stay that way. And that being said, I, I do miss the, ha the high horsepower Um cars at Kansas, you know, being able to sit down and turn one and just hear them and see them really picking up the power down the straightaway. Um, 
So we did lose that, but it was it was a very entertaining race. This race was really good. Came down to a green-white checker. That being said, I do think Brad, to this day, jumped the restart because I, I was sitting in turn one, and I remember specifically all night, you know, it was either side-by-side side or really close. And on this restart specifically, Brad Keselowski had like a three-car length gap between him and the entire field. When they got into turn one, I thought there is no way he didn't jump the restart to be that far ahead of everyone. And so... Um, like I said, it was a good race. Bowman, I thought, was going to potentially get his first win. Um, but like I said, that final restart, I still remember to this day thinking, no way. And looking at a replay, yeah, Brad pretty well jumped this restart. So uh, I'll, I will say it to this day uh, that that is what happened. All right, so coming into the number two spot, I had mentioned that this is one that didn't come with a pin. Uh, this was a absolutely fantastic race. The 2018 Casey Masterpiece 400. They didn't make a pin, so I just got a generic Kansas Speedway pin to fit in the display case. Um, but this was a terrific race. Kevin Harvick made the pass for the lead coming to the white flag on Martin Truex Jr. There was a massive red flag pile up coming out of turn four with about 14 laps to go. Maybe 10 laps. Sorry, maybe 10 laps to go. Um, but a couple late race cautions really did pick up a lot of the action. But but the racing was just good. I mean, Kansas at night, they had uh, Larson and Blaney were battling for position, and they made big-time contact and, and actually took each other out. Um, the high line was really fun to see because Larson was running right up on the wall getting these huge runs down the straightaway, which was just awesome to see. Um, you know, just to see a car motoring past people because they he got such a big run and oh man what a great view that was to just see see a car absolutely hauling compared to everyone else just because he was running right up on the wall um so again a really really fun race it was my first time going to a night race and boy the atmosphere delivered i'm telling you kansas when it was a night race was so much freaking fun i had such a good time at this race um I wasn't even a big Harvick fan. I was almost mad that he won because he had this was his fifth win in 12 races to start the season. And, um, you know, it was kind of like, good grief, is he done winning yet? But that being said, the race was fantastic. This race, top to bottom, the best Kansas race I've ever seen in person, you know, in terms of, like, overall um, how they finished or how the finish was, how the race was, the, the action on track, you know, all of it. This was a terrific race and um, – yeah, 2018, I got to see some pretty good races because I also got the Kyle Busch Chicago win from that season. So, uh, But yeah, this one comes in at number two. Now, coming at the number one spot, this should be no surprise to anyone who watches the channel. We always talk about what my favorite die cast is. Which one do I like the best? Which one's my favorite? It has to be the 2018 Hollywood Casino 400. Now, the race itself was not crazy memorable. So here you go, Hollywood Casino 400 pin. But um, this was the first time I've ever gotten to see my guy, the guy I root for, win a race um, in the in any series. Um, you know, up to this point, I had seen Noah win in the trucks. But at, remember, at that time, I was a Brett Moffat fan. Um, and so I guess I had seen Brett Moffat win at Chicago and Iowa. Um, but I had never gotten to see a cup guy win. Um, so yes, it was very cool to get to see Chase win in person and not only in person, but in my favorite paint scheme of Chase's, the, the nice metallic green Mountain Dew car, um, just overall fantastic. This is obviously my favorite die cast. Got this signed at Bristol my first time down there in 2019 and just so many reasons that I, this is my favorite race, my favorite race version, my favorite die cast, all of the above. And, um, you know, I figured just for good measure, I may as well, um, you know, I don't want to say rub it in, but I may as well really hammer the point home. I actually got all three finishes of this car. I've done that with a few different cars, and there's only two of them to this day that I still have all three finishes of. This is one of them, which is Chase Elliott's uh, Kansas Win, Color Chrome, Liquid, and... Um, standard so these are the three that i have um for that race i do also have this display case that got put together where it has the pin that goes in there the sticker the confetti there's my pre-race pass for the race that sits back there so my absolute favorite kansas die cast my favorite kansas race this one i mean getting to see my favorite driver win in my favorite paint scheme he only won a mountain dew car once and i got to see it like i said this is my favorite i love if any of if you guys have seen the channel, you know I love Mountain Dew. I love this paint scheme. I was taking pictures of it all weekend long before tech inspection and garage stuff. I had pictures of this car. Just I loved the color of it. And then to get to see it win, get a raced version die cast, um, all of the above, just definitely one of the one of my favorite races to uh, have gotten to experience. So 
Um, yeah, so that one will be, uh, you know, my kind of clear cut number one, um, just due to those things. So, uh, let me know what your thoughts are as far as what your list would be. Um, if you had picked in a different order, obviously me having my, my bias probably moved this Chase Elliott win much further up the list than some of the other ones. Um, but some of these races you guys may not have remembered just from, you know, not watching that far back and, you know, memory fades as time goes. So, um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on my, uh, my favorites and if I have them in the right order or not, I'm not going to agree with you cause I'm, I get to have my opinion, but, um, but yeah, overall that's kind of my ranking system and kind of the, the order I put them in. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll be at Kansas this weekend. Hopefully we'll be seeing who we add to my Kansas race win list. They're going to go right there in the case. Uh, but other than that guys, that'll wrap up this, uh, video. Thank you all for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next DieCast Review.